Alright guys, what's going on? It's your boy C4 here, bringing you another Top 5 for Madden 25 Ultimate Team. And this time I'm going to be breaking down the Top 5 Elite cards as released right now. It's really hard to get a good judge of Elite cards because they're adding ones every week and the market's never going to have the same people on at the same time. So I just took a general, uh, I might have missed someone that just got recently released from the past week. But uh, I, I just generally took the players that are consistently on the market a lot. And uh, we're starting at number 5. Uh, it will be Gerard Mayo, the elite card from the New England Patriots. If we can get it going here. Give me a sec. There we go. Taking a good old time there. But the 88 overall, Gerard Mayo. Insane right outside linebacker. Uh, 83 speed, 92 tackling, 82 block shedding, 75 strength, 83 precision, and 94 pursuit. Insane stats right there for an elite. Uh, 83 speed, 92 tackling, 94 for, for pursuit. Very, very beast of a player here. Uh, a little bit underrated. Uh, I thought that I should show him some love here on the elite card list. But uh, definitely could interchange. Uh, definitely when uh, maybe another month or so has gone by and there have been a lot more elite cards added to the market, he, he definitely will probably get on the chopping block and be off. But for the time being, uh, for how consistent this card is, very, very good. Uh, number four, we're going to the New York Giants. And will be the generic prototype player that I, for the way that I like to play my defense, which is all about the finesse move, and it is the 88 rated JPP here. Uh, 83 speed, 80 strength, 86 tackling, 71 power, 90 finesse move, 90 block setting, and 90 pursuit. This card is insane. Uh, can do everything you'd want something to happen at right end. And, you know, just uh, clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, clap your hands. My number one right end when I did my right end rankings. And he cracks the elite list. Uh, as for number three, we're going to the Cleveland Browns. Uh, obviously, even though I did give him a 1A and 1B with my boy uh, Jason Peters, you can you got to show respect for Joe Thomas. One of the best perennial Pro Bowler. Made the Pro Bowl every year he's been in the league. His stats are off the chain. 92 strength, 97, 98 pass, 91, 93 run with 93 impact block. You're not going to find a better O-lineman in this game, uh, even though I'm a little bit biased towards Jason Peters. Joe Thomas, in the real, I'd say J.K. Peters could give Joe Thomas a run for his money, but in this game, Joe Thomas has the best stats, and that's why at o -Lyman makes my top three for my elite cards here. Number two and number one didn't really come as a shock to me, considering that uh, the Adrian Peterson card, the 90 Adrian Peterson card, is not on the market uh, a whole lot. You might find one or two. I, I'll check number one, because he will be number one, but these other two cards are more consistent on the market, which is why I include them. But at number two, we're going with the 94 rated. Is it 94? Holy shit, there's a 93 Reggie Bush. I haven't even looked at that yet. Okay, that car is pretty fucking insane right there, people. That car just got released. I did not find that car when I was making these lists. But look at that, 93 Reggie Bush showing right now. 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 90 carrying, 93 looseness. Insane in the brain. Fucking right the fuck off. But we're going with the 94 Calvin Johnson at number two. Six foot five with 93 speed, 92 red running, 95 catching, 90 catch of traffic, 95 spectacular catch, and 95 release. It is what it is. Kids Calvin Johnson carried next to the 96 Michael Irvin are the top two receivers in the game. But the number one, I have to show love to, even though he played like absolute garbage last night against the New York Jets. Uh, it wasn't totally his fault. His wide receivers were crap. But we're going to go with the 97 Tom Brady as the number one elite card. You just can't, even when he has 57 speed, you just can't get over 97 awareness, 95 throw power, and 95 throw accuracy. 85 throw accuracy deep, uh, not as good as maybe Dan Marino, but still very, very elite. The best quarterback not named Dan Marino or Troy Aikman in this game. So that's why we have him there, but let's just go look. While we're just fucking around here, I want to try, might as well go on a little bit of adventure because I know there's a, uh, an AP elite card that's 98 that is the best card in the game. There you go. I didn't put him on my list because he wasn't consistent. There's only one on the market when I was compiling my list and going through all the players. But this is the best card in the game. The 98 ADP. Actually, yeah, I take that back. I'm pretty sure in one of my videos I said the Michael Irvin was. This AP is the best card in the game. 95 speed, 96 agility, 97 acceleration, 91 awareness, 88 carrying, 94 truck, 97 elusiveness, and 95 ball carrier vision. So there you go. That's why AP is the number one elite card. But while we're here, let's go see uh, who would have had... Um, a big week last week that would have got into the elites. Uh, who went off? Let's go check the Niners. What do you call it? Had a huge fucking game. Uh, Anquan Bolden. Did they give him one? There you go. We got the 91 Anquan Bolden. That's not him. 91 Anquan Bolden. What are his stats looking like? Oh, those aren't too great. 
Uh, did they give Shady McCoy one? They, if they gave, they should give Lashawn McCoy the most Russian years week one. There you go, the '93 Lashawn McCoy. That card's insane. Oh, look at that. It's almost as good as the Reggie Bush. '93, '97 for speed. '93 carry, '99 looseness, '94 ball carrier. That's a pretty fucking impressive card. Limited edition too. What? Might need to get that. Get my hand. What's that called? Holy fuck! Three hundred thousand coins. Are you kidding me? Uh. Peyton Manning probably did pretty. Peyton Manning probably made this list at some point. We'll just check that out and then we'll wrap it up. Because Peyton Manning did throw the seven touchdowns this week, so Lord knows what his fucking boost is. Ninety-nine or something. Is that it? No, that's not it. There you go. The ninety-six Peyton Manning. Holy ninety-five. Uh, what do we got there? Ninety-seven awareness. Ninety-two throw power. Ninety-eight throw accuracy. Deep. Eighty-eight throw power. That's actually not that too great, but ninety-six still a great quarterback there. Anyway, we've been going on far too long, guys. These have been the top five elite cards in Madden 25. As always, it's going to be updating. I might need to keep making these videos every month or so. But as always, leave a comment in the comment section below if you feel I left anyone out. Smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to Beast Mode TV, your home to Madden 25 Ultimate Team content on YouTube. Peace out, guys.